ambao tunaanzia na taarifa ambao ndio makala ambayo tumekuandalia siku hii ya leo. Taarifa yetu kutoka kaunti ya Homa Bay ni kuwa wakati mwingi shughuli ya uvuvi huishia kuwa masaibu hasa kwa wanawake ambao mara nyingi huhitajika kuwa na uhusiano kimapenzi na baadhi ya wavuvi na hata wamiliki wa mashua ili kuwezesha kununua samaki kwa urahisi. Lakini aina hiyo ya biashara huwafaidi tu wasichana wadogo na ni hali ni hali hii kumradhi ambayo iliyobadili mkondo wa kina mama hao ambao sasa wameasi biashara ya samaki mwanahabari Shadrack Miti na kina cha taarifa hii Hii ni Sindo Beach katika kaunti ya Homabay wanawake hawa wapo hapa kununua samaki au omena lakini uhaba wa samaki hasada ga walazimu wavuvi na wenye mashua kugeuza kanuni Ingawa wanawake hao wanazo pesa mkononi tayari kwa biashara, ununuzi wa bidhaa hii si rahisi. Uamuzi wa ni nani ataka ya uziwa utegemea wavuvi na wenye maboti wala sio fedha ulizo nazo wanunuzi. Tunarifu kwamba ili biashara ifanyike pasi na tatizo lolote, ni lazima baadhi ya wanawake hawa wawe kwenye uhusiano wa mapenzi na wavuvi ili wapewe kipaumbele. If everybody is buying the trough at 1000. I have 1000 another person has 1000 they leave me and give to to another person so there's that possibility that we have that segregation and this could be indicating that we have this issue of uh, jaboya although it is not done openly hii ina maana kwa wanawake hao ugaramika maradufu kwanza ni lazima usike kimapenzi na uvuvi na umiliki wa maboti ili warahisisha kuhudumiwa kabla ya wengine na kisha hujapo kuchukua samaki ni lazima ulipe kati ya shilingi 500 na moja kwa kila beseni la omena. Hali hii imeotia wengi wa wanawake hawa katika masaibu ya kudhulumiwa kimapenzi hasa kunaposhuhudiwa uhaba wa samaki. Japo samaki wanunuliwa kwa kushiriki mapenzi, idadi kubwa ya wanawake wasio kuwa na umbo la kuwavutia wavuvi na wamiliki wa mashua. Utengo na kuwekewa vikwazo kwamba sura zao azijafurahisha. This has made uh, most women vulnerable because you find that most of them are widows. They have children to take care of. Kuna wakati wengine kama mama anakuja tutabidi yeye kama yeye anakula alikuwa anataka samaki. Kwa zingine akua akua na urafiki na mtu wa madhara ama jaboya. Eh kwa dhuluo anasema jaboya. Sasa hiyo hiyo jaboya mtu anaweza kaa naye akienda ziwani huko kesa asubuhi akija hivi huyu mama anaenda na trafi yake analela hapo niwekea hapa mena lakini bado hali ya utekelezo kwa mapendeleo vipo vigezo maalum ambavyo ni lazima vizingatiwe tena wanaangalia mavazi ukifa vibaya vaya kama sisi hivi hapa utapata e, inataka ile nguo inakufinya kidogo figa undoke lakini kama sio hivyo <laughs> kama umeparara kuanzia kichwa kama mimi hapa utapata na hata baada ya kupata kibali maalum machoni mwa wauzaji samaki ni lazima wanawake hao wakabiliane na ushindani mkali kutoka kwa wanawake wengine inasemekana wapo uvuvi na wamiliki wa mashua wengine ambao wajumuisha mama mzazi na binti katika mtego huu akikuja anataka kae na wewe saa zingine anakuweka mix na mama yako eh hey. kama mama amekubali yeye pia anataka umeenda mimi pia nimekubali mimi pia nataka umeena. Si hapo tutakaa na mamango kwa bwana moja. They are really suppressed in terms of ensuring that they are able to give themselves their physical body to be able to get fish even despite the fact that they can have some capital which they want to put in the business. Lakini sasa hali inabadilika. Baada ya kudhulumiwa, wanawake waliochukuliwa kwa wasiofaa na kupungukiwa na urembo, waliamua kuachana na biashara ya samaki na kujitosa katika biashara nyingine. Akikupatia daga na wewe unalipa kwa mwili yako sasa tukaona hiyo atuwezi wanawake wengi katika kaunti ya Homabay wameanza kujiunga na makundi ya kina mama kwa lengo la kuanzisha biashara hili ni kundi la kina mama la Nyamaranda Mothers Women Group ni baadhi tu ya wanawake waliolazimika kuachana na biashara ya samaki kutokana na dhulma ulizokuwa kipatana nazo watu ambao wanavua naangalia vile umejivaa na vile umejipodoa na kama uso imechechuka uwezi pata umena wa mama wazi ndio wanaika wanaangaika biashara hii imeendelea kupanuka na sasa bidhaa zao zimepata umaarufu katika mataifa ya nje na kaunti zingine za karibu na mbali if there are alternative sources of income that our women can get that allow their dignity to be restored 
allow their dignity to be upheld, and even the girls, then this will safeguard our generation from even uh, getting HIV and AIDS. Inga uvumi ndicho kitega uchumi kiku katika maeneo ya nyanza. Wanawake hao medhirisha kwamba ununuzi na uuzaji wa samaki. Sio tegemeo la pekee. Nikichukua mena ya silingi miatano na, na, na pata faida, faida ya silingi kumi, sazigine pesa inapotea. Sasa ilikuwa kazi ngumu. We are encouraging more women to join such groups so that they are able to get money to take care of their children. Baada ya kuwazu uvuvi na biashara ya samaki, sasa onahisi kwa huru, mbali na kushika usukani wa maisha yao, pasi na vikwazo vivyote.